Next up, I want to spend a little more time talking about this slide. Not just this beautiful slide with this stock photograph, but the content. Functions being objects and what that means. Because we're going to prepare for the next video where we talk about using functions within functions, accepting functions as arguments, returning functions as values. But first, let's talk more about functions as objects. So we saw that we could store a function in a variable. We can also store functions in something like an array if we wanted to. So let's see a quick example of that. I'm going to define four different functions, just very simple ones. Add will be the first one. It returns x plus y. And I'll mix up the different ways we declare them. So we have a function statement. Now we'll do a function expression. So I'll do const subtract equals function. I'll leave it anonymous x and y, and it returns x minus y. And then I'll do multiply, function multiply, multiply x, y, return x times y, and then one more is divide, and I'll just duplicate this. So we have divide, and it returns x divided by y. So we have four functions. Now I'm going to put them all in an array. So I'll call this array operations. Four different operations, and all I need to do is add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Now I have an array with four operations, which are each a function. So four functions stored in an array. And if I wanted to execute any of them, let's say I want to call subtract. That is index of 1, 0, 1. So if I run my code over here, I can call operations square brackets one, that gives me the function. That doesn't call it. That's like me just typing subtract. I'm not executing it. I'm just getting the value back, which is an object. It's a function, which is an object. But if I add my parens afterwards, right now I'm getting not a number because I haven't passed in any values. So I'm gonna pass in, let's go with 104. And I get 96, 100 minus 4. x is 100, y is 4. If I wanted to call multiply, index of 2, and I get 400. Index of 3 will give me divide, and index of 0 gives me add. Now this isn't very useful, putting them in an array to just call them manually one at a time. It's a lot clearer if I just say add, whatever, 104, we can see what we're doing. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that we can do things like loop over this array and call each function so we don't have to hard code it. I could do a for of, so for let, let's call it func of operations. Func is going to hold one of these functions as if it were a number or a string or any other value in an array because it is it's just any other value as far as javascript is concerned it doesn't care and if i just write func once again that's not calling the function that's what i did right here i'm referencing it i'm getting the value but to execute it i need parens so this variable will hold one of these functions each time through and by adding the parens we'll call four different functions by the time this loop finishes running. So let's just hard code in some numbers. Let's do, uh, how about 30 and five? Okay, and I'm not gonna see a value. Or I won't see anything happen because I'm not printing anything out. It's all being returned. I just ran it. You don't see anything happen. So let's store each result in a variable. We'll call it result. And then let's do a console.log result. Okay, let's run it, and there we go. We ran four functions with this loop. Maybe not something you would do, but I wanted to show you can. We can treat functions as any other value. We can loop over them in an array. We can even store them in objects. So we have 35, that was for add, 30 plus five. Then we have subtract, 30 minus five. We have multiply, 30 times five, and divide, 30 divided by five. So one more thing, I'll just show that we can store them in an object. We'll just go with a meaningless example for now. This is a topic we will revisit quite a bit. I'll make an object called thing, and I'll set one property on it called do something. 
and it will be equal to, the value will be multiply. So no quotes or anything, not the string multiply like this, but the function multiply. I don't know why I'm saying multiply, multiply. So we're now storing a function as a value in this object. And if I run my code and I look at thing, we have a property called do something, that's the key, and the value is a function. So I can call thing dot do something. This doesn't execute it, just like we saw earlier. I'm simply getting the value. I add the parens. Now it's running, but it doesn't have any arguments. So we'll do 50 and 2. It multiplies them, and we get 100. So I'm calling this function multiply, but it's part of an object. I'm referencing the object, the property, with the parens, and it calls it. Now this might look kind of familiar, where we have thing dot something, and we put parens after it. That's because we just wrote our very first method. By adding a function to an object, we're creating a method. Just like we have to uppercase, notice we're doing the exact same thing. Some value dot to uppercase. Or if we have an array, well, that's not a valid array. <laughs> if we have an array dot, and then we call, how about index of? Index of two, it tells us if that's at index one. This is a function, but it's stored on the array. We're going to come back to objects and how we add methods and putting functions in objects and all that stuff in a separate section. So that's not the main takeaway here. That's a bigger topic. But I wanted to show that functions are simply values in JavaScript. We can store them in an array. We can call them dynamically, put them in this func variable each time through the loop, execute it. It's just a placeholder name. This will store the value of add or subtract or multiply or divide and actually execute it we can also put a function in an object. So next, we're going to see more of using functions within functions. So passing functions as an argument to another function or returning a function, which is actually a very key part of JavaScript. So let's get started, that's next.